So I'm just casually scrolling through Twitter as I usually do and then I came across this tweet from the boy Diddy source over on Twitter and the tweet is basically saying that this Goku Black Easy A like he's actually not that bad, he's actually pretty decent. Now obviously, well I hope he's trolling, I don't know if he actually is because based on the tweet like, you can't read sarcasm in that. Like, maybe there is sarcasm. Maybe he's baiting and maybe I'm falling for the bait. But I'm taking him at face value and I'm gonna assume that he is just... He doesn't play Dokkan, let's just say that. Or at least not anymore. Because saying Goku Black, his easy A is not that bad. That is clown behaviour. That is actually the worst Dokkan take I've ever heard. Like saying this guy is actually not that bad is genuinely clownish. It's genuinely easily one of the worst hot takes I've ever seen of my entire life with regards to Dorkon or anything. Saying this guy is not that bad. What are you smoking? Like you, Because he is smoking something. I just don't know what. Anyway, moving on. The best LR of each version of Gohan. Future Gohan, beautiful. Super Saiyan Gohan, teen, decent, he's okay, and then Beastless Gohan is garbage. Now, jokes aside, Beastless Gohan is better than AGL Gohan, there's not really any debate to be had, but the only thing I will say is that I don't mind this, even though technically Beastless Gohan is better than AGL Gohan, because of how Beastless he really is, I don't mind this image if I'm being honest, I, I don't mind it whatsoever, in fact, I I second it. I agree with it. Moving on. Yeah, this easy A of this tech future Gohan definitely surprised a lot of people with how decent he is. He's not actually that good. He's just decent. A lot better than I in, I personally was expecting. I don't think anyone was expecting anything from this guy. And the way it turns out is that he's actually decent because guess what? If you give a unit dodge, even if it's conditional dodge, he, he's gonna be usable and this guy has conditional dodge and therefore he's usable in the more difficult content because he can just dodge. Yeah, this tweet is disrespecting the Boo Saga duo and I don't like it but I would concede that the Boo Saga duo for the first few turns especially they needed a bit more. Realistically this unit would have been completely fine if the only change they made was give them guard for the first three turns. If this unit had guard for the first three turns, the unit would be significantly better. But without our guard, like that does certainly hurt them. But if we do get longer form difficult content, that will benefit this unit. But we always say that and we never get it. So let's see what happens, I guess. I won't say too much more for that. Yeah, the boy Toon Rami is being accused of copying other people's predictions and I don't think he is because even I'm pretty sure Toon Rami a while back did say he wanted a Dokkan vs Zabon. I might be misremembering that but I'm pretty sure that was the case so I don't think he's copying anyone with that. Dragon Ball fans hate Cell Saga from what I've seen. If anyone hates the Cell Saga, you're not really a Dragon Ball fan. Because number one, it's one of my favourite arcs. Number two, objectively, it's actually, objectively in my opinion, one of the better arcs. The reason I say that is because in the Cell Saga, so many characters got their time to shine, unlike in some of the other arcs. Like for example, in the Cell Saga, obviously Gohan got his time to shine. Obviously Goku did. Obviously Vegeta did. Obviously Trunks did. But then on top of that, Piccolo had his time to shine with his fusion with Kami and then on top of that even TN, the boy TN got his time to shine against semi-perfect Cell so I don't think anyone is justified in hating the Cell Saga not to mention that Gohan's my favourite character so of course I've got a bias towards it but even without the bias objectively it was pretty good. The boy Alpel is giving some possibilities as to what he thinks could be coming to Dokkan next Number one, he's got Khalifla, and that is definitely a possibility. Um, in fact, I would say that's a decent chance for that. If the next unit is not extreme, I think Khalifla is probably one of the more likely options. Next, he's got Tapion. That's not something I would be hyped for, but I'm not against it. 
Lord Slug. I would actually, out of all of these low key, I actually do want Lord Slug just because he'd go well with Piccolo Jr. And Piccolo Jr. is my favorite character. And then he's got Garlic Jr. And I think that is quite unlikely, but I guess you never know. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. You guys let me know what do you want to see for the next Dokkan Fest in the comment section below. I did, I think, the boy Annie over on Twitter bought Bulma with coins, and that was definitely worth it. Bulma is arguably the best unit in the game, and, cer and certainly the best unit available with coins right now. The only unit in the entire game that I would argue above Bulma is Gohan, and even then, if you want to argue that Bulma is better, I wouldn't be too much against you. But then the boy Annie said he regrets it, and I don't know why he regrets it, because Bulma is definitely worth coins. So I have no idea why you would regret um, buying Bulma with coins, because she's definitely worth it. And then the boy living Ichigo is flexing over on Twitter. He said, not bad. And then he did 144 million in chain battle with his score. Me personally, my maximum score so far is 134 million. And this is 10 million more than me. So if mine's good, which it is, this is even better. So fair play to living Ichigo. We do love to see the good scores. Yeah, the SSR art of God Goku is still easily one of the best SSR arts in the game. I wouldn't have minded this art for the actual TUR. But I guess the TUR is fine as well. So it's not that big of a deal. So we'll move on. Their best build is Dodge. Honestly, I would be inclined to agree. I think the best build for this VB unit is Dodge. I think that is quite clear, especially after their intro wears away. This unit can get caught off normals, forget supers. So full Dodge is definitely the way to go with this unit, at least in my opinion and the person over here. This is also their opinion. So next is, yeah, this, imagine this as the next Dragon Ball Hero celebration for G.O. Blue, Super Saiyan 4 for G.O. Limit Breaker, and then Super Saiyan 4 Broly Limit Breaker, or whatever that is. I would be so down for that. That would be so exciting in Dokkan. Let's just imagine it. That would easily be the most hype Dragon Ball Hero celebration of all time, by far, by far. This would be sick. Not only is it a fusion, it's Super Saiyan 4 as well, which is easily one of the better transformations in Dokkan. And we're gonna end it with this. A daily reminder that we still need Beast Gohan in Dokkan, because we still don't have Beast Gohan in Dokkan. It's not fair. Please, please, please allow the 9 year anniversary to be Beast Gohan, and furthermore, allow it to come to global at the same time. And that would be, that would be so good. In fact, Let's do a quick subscriber challenge if you guys agree with me that we need a brand new Beast Gohan on global at the same time ASAP then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did then do subscribe especially if you just failed that challenge because that is indeed the challenge. Also do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Ta ta, adios and bye bye.